The origin of miniature art can be traced back to the Umayyad doctors who commissioned painters to create illustrated training manuals for scientific explanations. Miniature illustrations were also used to depict important romantic, emotional, and military scenes in popular legends and stories such as Alif Laila, Dastan e Amir Hamza, Kissa e Yusuf Zulekha, and many others. Over time, miniature art became an integral part of Persian and Turkic Muslim traditions. Under the Mughals, miniature art experienced significant growth. In the Mughal period, Lahore remained the center of miniature art for generations. Under Emperor Humayun, Persian influences interacted with local traditions and produced a style with new subjects, techniques, and aesthetics. Emperor Akbar's reign laid the foundation of the Mughal school of art. In Lahore, artists strived to break free from the formal style of Persian painting. They painted realistic scenes ranging from opulent palaces to wars and the struggles of seers and saints. Possessing a high-quality album of miniature paintings, Muraka was considered a sign of high culture and mannerism, and the artists received generous support from the royal family, nobles, and wealthy traders. Lahore's atelier was home to some of South Asia's finest artists, who completed the illustrated manuscript of Jami's Baharistan in 1595. Emperor Jahangir and Empress Noor Jahan had a collection of miniature paintings mostly composed in Lahore, while Shah Jahan, the greatest patron of arts and crafts, particularly patronized miniature paintings. During the 19th century, local artists were influenced by European salon and academic styles. Abdur Rahman Chukhtai revived old techniques and stressed the importance of Mughal style for ensuring the continuity of cultural traditions. The continuity of tradition is a significant feature of Pakistani culture, making it resilient, diverse, and vibrant. Since the 1980s, thanks largely to the efforts of art schools in Pakistan, the younger generation of Pakistani artists are turning to this form of art. Meet four such young artists. Sumaira Amin is a well-known miniature artist. She believes that creating a miniature is like a deep meditation practice. Among her achievements are the restoration of Mughal miniature art at historical architecture of Lahore. My name is Sumaira Amin. In 2009, I won Al Jazeera a miniature painting in international award. And in 2010, I won the second award in Iran. Miniature painting is our region. I understand that this is our own art. I understand that this is our own art. 18-18 घंटे की सिटिंग्स में किसी एक एरिया पे फोकस करना और कंसंट्रेट करना किसी मेडिटेशन से कम नहीं है। इमरान कुरैशी is an artist of international fame, whose sources of inspiration are drawn from his personal experiences, socio-political context of his country. He incorporates traditional techniques of Mughal miniature painting into his contemporary pieces, giving them a unique aesthetic. My work is uh, always about what is happening around me. It always reflects in my work, whether on political or social level or on very personal level. So you can see those kind of reflections in my work. I thought maybe I should create a narrative in the landscape as well, that you are walking and you are looking at a certain scene. You will notice that the color palette is very different when you begin and when you comes to the end, it becomes more darker, more towards black and grays. At the same time, it's getting more black, but then there's the presence of life in it as well. The idea was to give a feel of infinity to the space, that it's not ending at a certain point, it continues. Shabana Nazir's sources of inspiration are diverse, including nature, history, culture, and architecture. She often explores ancient traditions intricate patterns and motifs found in Mughal art and architecture. My name is Shabana Nazir. I have a diploma from the National College of Arts and Calligraphy. I have done a diploma from the miniature drawing. I have done a diploma from the color and color. I have learned a total of 20 years to learn all these things. Ustad Bashir Sahib has used a modern technique with a modern technique. اس میں بھی دلچسپی آئی اور اس میں بھی میں نے استاد صاحب کی رہنمائی سے 
عبور حاصل کیا جس میں کانسیپٹ اور جدت استعمال کرتے ہوئے کانٹیمری منیچر بھی کریٹ کیا اثر اقبال از اے ٹیلنٹڈ منیچر آرٹسٹ ہو ایکسپلورز دا انٹر پلے بٹوین ٹریڈیشن اینڈ ماڈرنٹی ہی ورکس وتھ بوتھ ٹریڈیشنل اینڈ کانٹیمپرری تھیمس سچ ایز جینڈر اینڈ آئیڈینٹیٹی میرا نام کوثر اقبال ہے میرے کام کے تقریباً کوئی پانچ چھ سیریز ہے جس میں ایلیفینٹ سیریز ہے برقع سیریز ہے کلچرل ایک میرا جو میل ڈومینٹ سوسائٹی کے اوپر ایک ہے نیو سیریز میں نے کچھ ڈیولپ کیے کچھ لوگ کے ساتھ میں کولیبریشن میں بھی کام کرتا ہوں تو کافی چیزوں کے اندر نیو جدت بھی آئی ہے نیو ایڈیشن بھی کی ہے لیکن ساتھ ساتھ پرانے چیزوں کو بھی لے کے چلتے ہیں اور اسی طرح ہر ایک آرٹسٹ کا اپنا ایک پہچان بن جاتا ہے تو میرا بھی تھوڑا سا اپنے ہی کام کی وجہ سے ایک پہچان ہے In Pakistani culture, the continuity of tradition holds a significant place. It is like an old river that accepts diverse streams but still maintains its unique course. Pakistani culture has the ability to absorb, assimilate, accept and synthesize different traditions, making it resilient, diverse and vibrant. The tradition of miniature art is one such example that continues to thrive in Pakistan and connects the modern with the traditional.